there are a lot of uh, unfortunate uh, incidents that, that that happen, and I, we believe that we want to change it to a different name uh, to celebrate Asian heritage. That's the reason we are going to advertise it. We are still in the contract process with Henry. It hasn't been concluded. I send an email to everyone in the class because uh, I want to give everyone in the class a heads up. Because of your strong interest, you put uh, pencil and ink in your uh, appointment book if you still use a book. And <laughs> just keep the time open in May. I believe everything will work out. I will give um, preference. Uh, priority to the current students uh, to, to attend the main session. I have everyone's email. I will oh, include. Wow. I'll include everyone's email in the um, blast uh, when I send. However, the Zoom class only allows uh, up to three hundred people to attend at the same time. At the moment, I have 295 people in my registered uh, list. So, so for me to help me out with managing whether so many people to anticipate to coming in the Zoom session or some of them might have to take the live streaming of the class from YouTube, I would prefer to have current attendees register again for the new class when it's available online. Okay. I'm still working on it. I have not officially advertised it online. When okay. that online link is available for registration, I will let everybody in this current class know to register first, just to keep a seat. So I personally know that whether we have 300 people limit met or not, I will not cut the class at 300. It just means that if we have more than 300 people register, I will anticipate live participants from the, uh, from the YouTube. Uh, at the same time, I have to kind of promote the YouTube link more. So this is to help me manage the class better. And this is to let everybody know that uh, the upcoming class is here for us um, to oh, that's attend. Right. Okay, so okay. it will help me to register and I'll let you know when the link comes out. Um, if you want to put your name in the chat or email me just to get a heads up, it will be helpful. However, email get lost sometimes and uh, what really would help me would be a real registration online that would stay okay but i would definitely uh -huh. use our email list this group huge list uh, to continue to let uh, people know okay so you okay. Don't, don't know when the registration opens Yes, I will let everybody know when the registration is open. I would only open the registration when all the contract and all the paperwork are done. We are a big organization. Contract is yes. just take a while. Yeah. <laughs> Occasionally, yeah. if people are on vacation or something. But yeah. I know that Henry and I and Diker Library are all for this. We are not going to um, make uh, last minute change right Henry yes yeah yeah so it's just just uh, waiting for paperwork and stuff like that to go through the formal procedure before I advertise but I hope that it will be advertised soon okay. Yongli, yes that's thank, thank you thank you very much and my prayers are with my Asian brothers and sisters thank you we're all in this together Thank you. We yeah. are all in this together, regardless yeah. where we come from. Where yeah. we come from. Right. Thank you. Very true. Very Thank true. You. Okay. Thank so it's four minutes into one o'clock or after one o'clock already. I'm going to give all this time to Henry. I am going to mute everybody now. Okay. Enjoy your session.
Henry, it's all yours. All right, thank you, Yonra, for continued um, effort in promoting Asian Heritage uh, Month. Uh, after this one, we'll continue four more classes. Um, I'm very happy to uh, to share uh, my um, heritage uh, with you. Um, today, I would like to uh, paint the blue heron. Uh, which is uh, it's not an Asian um, classical painting, but uh, it's related, I think, to uh, a um, very popular uh, kind of uh, theme, uh, the cranes family. Um, Blue Heron actually is a North America or um, U.S. Um, icon, I think. The great blue heron, uh, especially, and then when I was in Seattle, um, I call that to my American hometown because I stayed uh, in Seattle for about uh, nine years before I <clears throat> moved to Colorado, then to uh, California. Um, I saw uh, the herons around uh, in all the places I I have been. And uh, uh, in addition to bald eagle, we may talk uh, later in the uh, in the series. Um, so I found a a, pass, uh, a message uh, uh, online to uh, to describe the heron uh, symbolism or the understanding of a uh, heron in North uh, America native uh, how to say Native American uh, culture. Uh, they symbolize uh, the uh, uh, self reliance uh, some uh, like a um, self support the kind of independence or uh, uh, maybe some uh, characteristic like uh, patience and determination uh, um, i cannot uh, i don't have uh, that in in my, uh, in, in my hand, but you can read the handout uh, for the link to find the source about that uh, message. I think it's very, um, it makes sense. Um, so my my uh, study of the Blue Heron started uh, when I was uh, in, uh, in uh, graduate school at the U University of Washington. And in summer time, I found myself a uh, job painting t-shirts. I did have, a, have one uh, old church. So I'm going to show you. And you can see a painting uh, design uh, on, on the back. That's on paper, but you can see this uh, is painted with uh, uh, acrylic. It's a fabric, fabric paint, li uh, liquid acrylic. It won't wash away. Um, you can machine wash. So I wear this uh, for a uh, long time. Still, you can see as fresh as uh, and even the, you know, when the the shirt is one, the painting still uh, stays, it's permanent. So you can use acrylic ink to paint an absorbent uh, cloth or, uh, you know, sheeting um, or t-shirt as well, if you uh, like. Um, the added uh, subject matter, if we have time, I'll also do a cat, which is also a popular um, design. I, I I made during the uh, years in Seattle. <laughs> um, yesterday, right? I, we had a group uh, from the Seattle area, and I talked about this experience. Um, so when I paint this, I, I try to you know simplify things uh, as a design, um, and it's a, it won't take me like one hour to, to do just one shirt, right? So I, I can sell them uh, in, in large uh, quantity. And that gave me a lot of practice. I, I did them hundreds of times. So I, I can paint without uh, uh, looking at it. You know, it's, uh, it's very uh, calligraphic. As I also show you the strokes. And there's a stroke order I, I uh, emailed you, I think. Let me pull that out. 
and the, uh, this is the this handout is the original I I taught uh, this at uh, Exper experimental college. Um, it's like a university extension uh, in Seattle, and uh, I got some reference from our uh, group last night. It's from Mexico. Right? Cancun, Mexico, very beautiful. I also found this uh, Mexico, um, red, reddish heron. I don't know if it's a, still blue heron. But this is blue heron standing on one foot. There's some babies, or the cat, and I think, and some other paintings. I tried to find that stroke. Oh, here, here we go. <clears throat> so we can follow this, okay? And uh, you can use the large soft brush. Uh, for the for the body and neck, and you use a stiff brush for the uh, beak and the legs. And let me just outline. Uh, you know, like uh, this, I studied uh, online. Uh, when I look at the, the pictures, uh, I just draw with a ball pen the outlines, and you can you can use a brush to draw a template kind of. Some overnight ink. I just put water in the in ink ink stone, in, and you can grind it if you want to make it darker, um, so it will not dry overnight. Um, let me let me draw a brief sketch first. So the the body of the the heron is like a, um, a triangle, maybe. Something like that. And you can round up the corners. And you can draw another uh, small triangle, something like that. Um, that's the kind of um, box or envelope um, of this. Uh, uh, the size, and then uh, you can draw one leg. The, the main leg is, uh, support the weight, and you should be, you should find a balance point where you know the gravity falls on, uh, not too too much. Uh, people usually tend to run, you know, with the leg near the legs near the chest. It should be near the tail side, something like that, right? So that's, uh, and then you, you can just paint. Uh, Henry, there's a question in the chat. Okay. What color are you using? Oh, I just use ink. Just do some, uh, some uh, um, you, can, you can draw with a you know, brush, uh, I mean, use a pencil or a pen. Just draw some sketch. I, I use brush <coughs> so you can see better. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so. Thank you. Just, for now, we just uh, studied the uh, the template. I will call it's not exactly the autonomy. So I I don't care. You know what this uh, uh, this part is called or something um, more scientific. You know. So th this is basically an egret or a, a crane or blue heron. It could be any water bird, okay. So this is this is what uh, um, will start. And you can add another leg behind. Uh, it, it could be shorter, or they usually standing in the water, right? Something like that. So you don't you don't paint the the feet. Um, <clears throat> there's a there's some large feather. They uh, overlap with the tail. The tail is quite small underneath, so it's a flying feather, some kind of. If it's a um, the the ancient heron, uh, red crown heron, the, 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 there's black feather. Uh, blue heron doesn't really have um, much long feather, so uh, unlike the cranes. 
and the the heron, blue heron, great great blue heron has this uh, uh, long feather look like uh, this. It's like uh, more uh, shagged uh, than the crane. Crane doesn't have this kind of a uh, crown, uh, like a beard. Uh, what do you call this uh, long uh, feather? So that's basic uh, the idea of it. And you can pinch the the neck, extend it like like you know very long. Like that, or fold it more uh, into a into a Z kind of a. I um I used the letter Z instead of a, uh, S because uh, if you paint a, an S, it's it's too. Uh, they might look like that when they um, when they taking off or something um, but uh, a typical stand uh, steel look is more uh, like folded it's very characteristic I'll, I'll show you all the postures so let's do that and you can you can put the outline under the painting or you draw some uh, preliminary sketch uh, when I paint it uh, before I paint I will con I'll consider the center, uh, you know, always. Uh, you don't have to, but I, I'll, I'll just fold it so you can see my center lines. And this area, this line should be avoided in the composition, and you should look for the third. You know, so if you put the the crane right in the middle, you'll have trouble to complete the composition. So you just put on the either you know left or right, depending on where they're facing. Uh, you can paint the hair in, in a mirrored uh, position facing left, if you like. If you use, if you are left-handed, maybe it's easier to do that. And if you're right-handed, I think we'll start from this position. <coughs> um, we we'll just use ink to begin with. Later, we'll you use some color. Okay, so you can use two tones of uh, ink. Uh, one is very light, one pure dark. You start with the light. I just uh, dampen the brush, soak the brush completely with some uh, some water. Then I uh, this is semi-sized paper, actually unsized paper, which is very absorbent. Unsized. I'll show you. Uh, you can use semi-size. Okay. So just make a light. Because this paper is going to smear a lot, so I, I'll, I'll control it a little bit. You can you can uh, squeeze out some moisture from the bottom, and uh, um, uh, traditionally we 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 would load a little darker ink to the to the front. You can do that. See, but I, I don't have dark. I just put it. In a small system, so you can see. So we have a a little dark, but it's very uh, be, be very careful because if you if use too pure ink on the body, then you will confuse uh, with the other parts. So I would not use too much; just a little, little bit, little bit. Um, so it's a little gradation, not pure. You can you can use a, a piece of paper to see. Okay. So Henry, there is another question. Yeah. Um, the library's uh, supplies included the semi-ripe and so, semi, so, yeah, uh, semi right, right. and then the Japanese rice paper yeah, and then the, the mulberry paper. Of any, these three different kinds of paper, what is the most appropriate for heron? Uh, you can start with the Japanese paper, actually. Okay. Yeah, that's All what right. I, I use. Uh, 
um, online, a lot of opinions online. Okay. Thank started. you. A second question uh -huh. is from the audience. Uh -huh. What is the main difference between heron and egret? Egret uh, is the size. great white egret uh, or cattle egret. Heron yeah, has many. Uh, um, maybe size. Egret is smaller. Uh, uh, the great blue heron. Uh, also, the I think the uh, long feather or uh, egret also have long feather, so I don't really know the heron and the egret difference. I, I for me the egrets maybe um, smaller, right? It could be could be wrong. I I don't I'm not you know I really don't care the the classification of them uh, because for for me um, the blue heron is they call it Henry's blue heron. So you're learning Henry's blue heron. Today. Okay, thank you, Henry. <laughs> okay, so um, incidentally, I I have a trademark. I just want to show you the the um, I use these two letters B H. It's a heron, right? B H. Yeah, I, I wrote this uh, hundreds of times. I picked one, and my daughter uh, used the program a computer to uh, stand to render it into vector uh, format, so you can I use it as a logo. That's how I did. So it's a uh, simplified, uh, generalized maybe. Uh, okay, so let me just. Print on this challenge paper first, and we'll see. Okay, so basically, you, you use the side uh, of the brush like this, and then you just do a, a quick sweeping stroke. See, I, I, I go back a little bit, you can see that, that turning back, and then I <clears throat> you, can, you can continue with the if one stroke is not enough, you can do some uh, makeup. Stroke, but keep that more mo uh, movement, you know, uh, heavier and then lift, sweep. So this is this area, the you know, the tail is softer. This is more um, solid, and you can use a blotting paper to control the smearing if it's uh, you know, like a raw paper. That's very uh, crucial to control the smearing. Unless you want to create the furry effect. When we paint a cat, I won't blot it, just let it bleed. You create a furry effect. Okay, now I'm going to add a little dark, a little bit dark. Um, to avoid this kind of uh, uh, start, like a hair, you know, like a nail head, it's not. Uh, uh, good. It, it, it should start with a little softer, uh, but if it's very soft. You, you have to you have to hide attacking the end or the tip. Um, that's the. It's like if you know Chinese calligraphy, you know what I'm talking about. So the it it goes like a little back and forth to, to start to hide the tip. Okay. So this one is more uh, uh, folded, like a Z. So, and then just like that. So I I got a little too heavy on to start. <coughs> it is, uh, it's very common that you have a dot there. So try to avoid that. Uh, uh, you know. But if that happens, just uh, let it be. Um, and then you can use the dry brush to add the uh, the feather. I, today I, I have inspiration. I saw some uh, pictures last night with the wind blowing uh, up. The, the normally we just do a little uh, wave, you know, like this is enough. So the wind blows this way. Uh, later, I'll try against the wind, like the wind blow from back to the front. It will, it will be different. Normally, I do this. And this is the, the handout. Uh, you see that in the handout. Just, just go down and then maybe a little swing. Um, and you can 
you can add a little dark to do the tail. The, the brush is still dry, right? So you kind of, um, you pinch from uh, less pressure to heavier. So it's like a drop, uh, I call it a teardrop stroke. You, you press like that. Okay, just the suggestion of the tail. See so the softness between the tail and the, uh, if you have a hard like connection, it will, uh, it will kill the rhythm of the original, you know, like the shagginess of the, the, the back hair. So this area is void, soft, kind of, right? And then I use uh, a smaller stiff brush uh, to do the leg. As I mentioned earlier, you need to find the gravity point. Uh, you can do a thigh, you know, something. Oops, that's too, a little too dark, but that's okay. And then just to, you don't need to, um, a thick pillow kind of leg, according to the, um, you know, the, pa the passage I passed, the message uh, of North American, Native American culture. Uh, they said uh, the, the thing, but very strong leg, you know, could, that you can stand on one, uh, they can stand on one, one leg for quite a long time, actually. Um, if you do two, it's, uh, it's like that, just the suggestive. So this one is a solid, and this one a little, um, you can do with dryer brush or quick to make a, um, flying white, softer. And uh, you can wait until this dryer to do the beak, uh, the eye. So I'll, I'll wait because this paper is smears a lot. But you can do the beak because this is dry already. And just do a beak like that. I, I don't uh, really care about the color, the yellow, that kind of uh, a stack um, kind of. I just do a little, um, it's tip concealed, uh, centered stroke. And I will wait a little bit to do the eye. Okay, now I but go back to the, uh, not, even I consider the, after the center is still too centered, maybe so it, when I add second bird, I don't have time, uh, room. So this should be a little more towards this side, ideally to give more room so that uh, there should be more space uh, in the front. Uh, to rescue that, I have to do the heron uh, maybe on this side, on the, on the left side, instead of on the right side. You, can, you have to adjust to the situation. You don't have to uh, do exactly the handout. Okay. So if I do like, uh, a little taller maybe. I try to keep the beak parallel to each other. So let me do this in a lighter um, lighter tone. And uh, this could adjust the tone. It's a little too dark, I don't know. Because the dark in the in the bot uh, in the bottom comes out. <coughs> okay, so try to avoid the. Okay. Um, this tone is not very. It's it's good just the like mono you know monochrome or monotone. It just use light would be good. I got too too much dark there, so that can that create some kind of a 3D. I do, really don't don't care. Um, let me see if I can just let it try a little bit. Blot out a little bit, and then just uh, add a little 
So I'm going to show the tail. Uh, we don't have to do the the back of here, I think. Let me see if the, do I have to. Oh, I still have some. It could be. I was trying to do the front view, but it looked like the back view. That's okay. So this this kind of uh, painting is quick, but it's easy to fail. So you just keep doing it. All right. And uh, this paper is very bleed, but it's good to 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 you know to have this kind of mistake. Uncontrollable. Okay. And uh, the crown. You can use a smaller brush. You, you can use the detail brush if you like to do the the long feather. It's like wind blow. Wind wind blown. Oops, I think it's off the focus. Let me know if you cannot see. Okay. Oops. And uh, for background, you can do some uh, grass, I mean, some reeds, like cattails. Um, you can use uh, the soft brush, maybe. I would. Make, mix my green uh, with uh, some blue and uh, some yellow here. Oh, there's some. Natural. I'm sorry, sorry to interrupt. Uh, even though I am able to see your painting on the screen, we have a few people commenting that they cannot see your painting and they suggest that you move your painting to the right. Yeah, I, I just realized that too. Uh, Okay. After I did the... Even though I have been able to see the very strange. Oh, interesting. Okay, uh, I just moved it. <laughs> yeah. So the common is is it's good right now. Yeah, the okay. position. Not, Thank not you. Fine. Um, yeah. Um, so we'll, we'll do some uh, some uh, grass. You can hide the. Usually I hide the feet part, but uh, maybe I change a little bit today. We can just uh, do something on this corner. Just like orchid, um, orchid blades, if you learned orchids, it's easy to do this kind of lines. But we don't really do the water, but you you can if you if you want use some uh, blue. So, some suggestion on the back overlapping. Okay. In the in the autumn, I do it with a more brown. In the spring, I just do more green. I think. You can add a little variation of uh, color. Just add a little blue or, or yellow. Just make it uh, more interesting. Oh, you can add uh, the cut tail. I just use uh, um, my minion here. You can use uh, uh, brown also and uh, some uh, rouge, red or something. Oh, here we got some rouge. Here, rouge and and uh, vermilion, or or amber, brown color. Just some. Uh, you can also get a little ink in it to darken it, and, and just to um, a cap 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 tail. I try to do the right proportion, so not too big, not too small. I try to create some rhythm. So three would be good. Right? 
two curls here, maybe one on top. Okay. And uh, this jaw um, maybe it's thick on top and the uh, stem along stem. Kind of lost in the front behind the the leaf. Okay, and uh, just add a little water. Okay, just do a little. Let's let's uh, try another using some color for the blue blue. Uh, give a little blue hair, a blue uh, tint to the hair. This is I uh, use the pure black. I wasn't uh, uh, meant you know, to finish actually. You you can try different uh, posture or just keep doing the same until you get it. It's like calligraphy practice. So I got some mineral, mineral um, blue color, which is uh, the uh, 393 And then we can use a little indigo, maybe, which is uh, 395 indigo. Uh, I got some roots. I can get even some. Uh, uh, let's just get a mixed little root with the light um, mineral blue. First, to get a lavender kind of blue. And then I use a little, attach a little indigo to get uh, darker. You can you can always add a little ink to mute. Okay, this is a Japanese paper, which is much uh, more forgiving. Okay, you can see. So let me just repeat this uh, handout. One, two. Okay, three. Okay, and uh, for the tail, we just touch a little dark, just a little bit, a little bit ink, and um, just a little very shaggy. So each time it will be different. I really cannot repeat myself. Okay. And then the detail features on the. Oh, you can also do the, the tail, uh, the long feather on the on head. Like that. Oops, <laughs> that's a mistake. I think this brush is too big for that. So maybe use the smaller one. Okay. Henry. Okay. Yes. For left-handed painters, yeah. should they try to do a mirror image? Uh, yeah. Let me uh, let me show you. Maybe. Okay. I think this painting is is failed. I I just did that. Uh, <laughs> the crowns so. Too exaggerated. Let me just Would you transform that into bird? something else? Uh, a palm tree's leaf, some kind of rock, um, some kind bother. of. This I, I, no? yeah, I, I think it, it might just come out, uh, you know, we just paint a little larger, maybe. Proportionally, it will be. Oh, phragmitis uh, that happened to bend that way. Yeah, we, we just paint a little larger. I think that would balance it. Maybe that's okay. Don't don't worry about that. It it just happens sometimes. Uh, you don't have to 
It's just a piece of paper, Japanese rice paper, right? Okay. Um, if you paint with the right left hand, you just do something like that. And I should use a paper top, paper weight. So just like uh, this, and then you can make up a little more, maybe on the bottom. Okay, then you do the neck this way. Just like that, yeah. So this is a little tricky. The beginning should be a little rounded. And maybe you can just do the, the head like uh, separate. Okay, just like this. And then you start again on the bottom. Like that. So this, this is the left hand. Um, you can f maybe flip to the image. I don't know how to I, how do I do it um, in this program? But on Photoshop, certainly you can flip, you, you can mirror it, or you can turn the paper around and uh, trace it on the back or something to flip it. Um, so this, I'll just use this for practice. To show Henry, you. yes. What if they paint with much darker color and then flip it on the other side so yeah, the other yeah, yeah. becomes you the real just, painting. Uh, uh, paint uh, the handout with uh, uh, ink and then uh, turn it over to see it. You will, you will see the mirrored image. Yeah. Mirrored image. Okay. I just practice with uh, this piece of paper. So uh, let's just practice. I just use the paper to practice, yeah. and uh, you can you can do like a abstract painting maybe. What about his, you know um, red, pink colors, or uh, uh, like a flamingo kind of color, yeah. You can use that. You can use the like we just saw some reddish uh, here in, in Mexico, right? So you can use a different color. It doesn't matter. Maybe. Oops. Yes. You can start with from the, the, the neck also. And then the, the back is hand, hunched. Um, like that. You can put uh, something in between. All right. This is for fun. So you, you can use different color uh, to paint and you know, try to uh, design to make them uh, like a pattern uh, some, uh, with some ink, usually. It's good to have some dark. I don't have room for, for those. Any question? Um, uh, let me try to do some uh, poetic, maybe some uh, um, nice painting. Kind of. okay, this is semi size. Got broken. I use a, a bamboo cut cutter to cut 
uh, nice paper. It's a uh, um, made of a, a one piece of a bamboo, large bamboo. Okay, let's see. I have some uh, notes. Let me pick my interesting ones to do. I like uh, pure ink techniques, uh, so I concentrate on the on the strokes and the, the uh, profile or solo way instead of the uh, color. You know, just do something for the body like that, and the back of the, the bird, and then uh, <coughs> this, this little standing one in the wind, and uh, some uh, wind blown uh, hair, and uh, just uh, exhaust this brush, it's good. And then the head. The head like that. And then just fold the neck tightly on top. Okay, some hair in front of the neck. So you just loosely overlap them like that <clears throat> and then uh, dry the brush and with a little dark maybe just do the this kind of you have to really feel the wind and something like that oops this brush is kind of hard to control too large really. Yeah. Okay. Got it. And then just use ink. dark ink. This is semi size, so it's good. Okay. Just do the darker. And uh, tail, and we, and uh, I think this one. Some wings, wings. Right. I try to paint. Uh, the feel of the bird standing in the wind against the, the wind. So this this is a crucial the, the angle of the bend. Um, it bends forward, not the other way. Okay. And you can paint just straight, one straight, one banded. You can feel that kind of uh, the weight is shifting to this side, but uh, still holds with this angle, with this feet, right? Can you feel that? So try to. Henry. Yeah. There's a request mm -hmm. asking you to send copies of your sketches so oh, that students could practice. Um, I just, I don't know if this is just a, um, yeah, I'll, I'll take a picture to send you. The, uh, I just draw this when I see this. Let me show you the pictures maybe. Um, and some, you know, this picture you send me Last night, uh, I can draw. That was picture. from Betty. Betty, yeah, Betty takes Betty. amazing yeah. pictures uh, uh -huh. from King yeah, Kong, Let me just show Mexico. you what uh, I do when I saw this picture. So I don't paint it uh, right away. I, when I saw a nice photo, I just draw on, on, on computer paper like this. 
So maybe I could find this reference here somewhere. Um, okay. So you can just draw a line, at, at like a little um, thumbnail size sketch. I think it, uh, that's very important to create that kind of uh, uh, mental representation of it. Uh, so you don't really copy the photo when you paint. You already digest it. The, let, me, let me do a study of this reference right now. Okay, I think it's a good picture. Oh, we've got a video too. This is the last frame from the video, I think. So I just uh, I can just paint this brush directly this time. So if we do this, um, it's a nice S shape, right? So I, I always start from the back. I always start from the back. Okay, it has a very nice subtle color. Uh, I mixed a little rouge with uh, the mineral blue here. Let me see. In the bottom of the brush, I got some uh, warm color. And then, um, yeah, maybe we can just do it in two steps. So the warm color in the uh, on top, and then the wings is a little bluer. Right? So we just do this uh, proportionally. You need to consider um, I've got the spots there, so I have to carry. So you you just draw an oval. It's uh, under the middle line. I think it's uh, right here, or something like that. Right. And then use a little indigo. So let me just cover that spot. Like that. Okay. And then it continue with a, a little warmer, I think. There's some white in the, in the on the top. So you need you, you don't need to copy the colors, just go with the uh, the gesture of the the bird. Okay. And then uh, we do the shoulder, this side, the wing. So I leave a lot of space between this, uh, uh, like a, the t on the tail and the wing, you need to have uh, some soft kind of, the, the wing, the tail could go from outside in maybe, and the, the wing could be a little darker here. Just, and there's a white, uh, White under this belly or something, you can you can leave it blank. That's important. To, and there's some white under. It's like a crown kind of thing. So let me just use a smaller brush. So use pure ink. I'll do this beak. Okay, and then uh, the head. And then maybe I just. Connect the. And I think we just exaggerate that, exaggerate that line there. And uh, we can exaggerate the beak a little bit. We've got very powerful beak. And then you don't have to do the the eye dot. Just the um, they're they're just dark there. And then uh, we will do the legs. Actually, the leg is not dark, really. Just a little bluish gray sometimes. So I leave a little space between the uh, leg and uh, the uh, belly so for the white. I don't have to paint the white, just leave it. And then this one is pretty behind, almost there. Aligned with the tail. Oops. I think that's kind of a crude. Um, and Henry, the reference picture, the leg is missing. If you move it up a little bit before, oh, a little bit up, a little bit up. There's no, no, no. Thank you. Okay, okay. Yeah, the yeah. feet is, is in the sand or in the water. So okay. It's, it's on the beach. Form, form, uh, the white is a form of uh, water. Uh -huh. so, so this is bent forward. Actually, 
you see the bending, I already made a mistake. So this, um, actually, this is the left leg. It should bend forward. There's a slight angle this, there. So I, I bent it the wrong way already. So it bent forward. That's a common mistake. See, I make the same mistake. I just caution you. Everybody makes that kind of mistake. You bend forward, not backward. Yeah. Then you can just paint loosely some tail uh, like that. And uh, you, you can draw a little white, you know, a line suggested the white under, underneath the shoulder there. There's some white spot on the shoulder too. Interesting. Yeah. And then um, for the background, you can you can just draw a, um, the, the water, the wave, with a little light uh, indigo, maybe a little blue. So this is um, it should be darker, but I, I, I think we just do it lighter. It's okay. And we just try to make that white standing out. Maybe a little more. So I, I just wash a little bit. So that that help to bring out some white hair or a feather. I just draw this uh, kind of uh, uh, water line and then some uh, shading. <laughs> we usually don't do the cast shadow, but you can if you like. I just got some brown. I mean, I just mixed some yellow, some dirty color here to get the brown co color on it. And you just draw something like a cast shadow or something. Suggest so there's some cast shadow. And uh, some sand. Dry brush, soft touch, suggest the, the beach. And uh, uh, the horizon actually is beyond the, the picture, so we don't have to, to paint all the way up. We just fog it out. Yeah. Just, just fog it out, I think. Maybe a little bit, suggestion. Blue. I tried to create a diagonal. Um, it's a soft and then you can write uh, poem. Yeah. So to keep it as simple as it, as it is. Okay. This is the Can Cancun, right? In Mexico. Um, yes. Uh, Henry, it's interesting that when I when I look at the photo, yeah. the lower right hand side looks to me like a grassy area, like a dry hay uh, rather than seaweed. sand. Yeah, seaweed, right? The, we are ah, okay, okay. Yeah, thank you, you can do something like that, but uh, if you do too much detail there, you would distract the focus uh, focal point. So try to omit to this uh, this kind of things in the picture. Okay. So the dark uh, point is uh, the contrast is in the head of the the, the bird. So not not try to uh, distract with uh, something like a seaweed. You know, not not very important. In okay. The, in the statement here, so we just uh, omit that. I just put a little yellow to the beak. Maybe that will help to to give some yellow. So yellow, red, and uh, blue, something like that. Okay. Um, I I haven't think about anything to write. Maybe just uh, you know you can write this way vertically on top to define the the, the horizon uh, or to close that line. Maybe interesting. The heron feels very alert to me. Very yeah. proud, very alert, yeah. very strong to me. 
Uh -huh. Do you have any any uh, idea about the title? No, no, it's just a feeling that it's very proud, very strong, very mm -hmm. alert, very firm to yeah. me. Yeah. Yeah, that's a nice. In the painting, in the compared painting. to the photo. Yeah, that's. Uh, um, yeah, we we have a poem like uh, in Hong Long Mong, the uh, Li Yu has a poem like Han Tang Du He Yi. This is not Han, not a not a poem, uh, not a pond. So we can say some uh, some uh, somewhere. Uh, Oh, somebody commented uh -huh. that this is hyper vigilant heron. <laughs> this is from a, a, a participant. Hyper vigilant uh, heron. How do you translate that? I didn't. Hyper hen hen jing ti de, fi chang de. Gao du jing ti de. Maybe guarding the nest. <laughs> I'm just joking. Yeah. Yeah, we have a nesting uh, hummingbird, very alert uh, mother. Let me just write uh, uh, something. I just uh, try to modify a little bit. Maybe this is this thing it could be a, what you know any uh, shower. Another comment is that maybe he's looking for his mate. <laughs> uh -huh. Just the uh, drawing. Um, um, he, you know, we call this generally he. It could be heron, could be anything. Means a, uh, means a, uh, shadow, shadow, or profile, a silhouette. Yeah. So Han Ding Du He Yi. How's that? How's that? This could be. I think it's San Dian Shi. This means uh, wandering, right? Do, or mm -hmm. yeah, do, walking do, like, back and forth. Walking, walking back and forth, right? Um, wondering. Surveying. Surveying. Uh, right? Patrolling. Patrolling. Patrol, 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 <laughs> yeah. Patrolling. Um, crane, um, and this being just uh, silhouette of a patrolling heron by the shawl. A cold, cold, uh, cold water. Yeah, cold water. Right. So this is the view of the. And you, I just want to show you how poem, a haiku, you know, in Japan, they use a one line poem, just like this, uh, can help to bring out the imagination and uh, complete uh, the idea. Good. So writing is a very important uh, part of the uh, composition uh, and the content of writing expands the imagination uh, of the uh, viewer. Okay. Uh, um, I think it's a smaller. It's, it's It's almost, you know, like a sun, I can bring out, uh, give some warm red also to the thing here. Okay, thank uh, Patty for sharing this beautiful reference. Okay, so I uh, this is the same bird, but in a different uh, stage of uh, patrolling. You, now you see the seaweed, right? Yeah, I think that one is much better than this one. Almost like. A, 
Uh, I also like this one. I tried to do is, is this one. See, this is the idea. All right. Kind of wind blown hair. It's good for brush painting. Very moody. And this is a standing on one foot posture. Uh, this is a uh, blue heron, I guess. Yeah, this one it has two babies. They have a, a stick net, sticks made of sticks. And we went to a wetland in um, near the beach many years ago, uh, and I did uh, a painting based on something like the the image. This one I found online. Um, I have a painting similar to this. It's called. Uh, uh, every stick count. Every stick count. Oops. That's it. Yeah. Every stick. They're passing the stick. So this is female, ma uh, male bird bring uh, a new stick, and uh, this uh, uh, mama bird is uh, adding to the. They already have a baby there. Very interesting. This is a detail of the hair you can see on the hair. But don't try to copy exactly, try to simplify uh, just like this, you know. So, this is my original uh, handout, which was made in 93. Okay, do we have enough on Heron? Should I try some more? Or? For the cat. Henry, yes. there is a question yes. uh, from the audience. Uh -huh. Do you draw as a practice a lot? Yeah, 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 yeah. Just draw like this. So, uh, if you don't draw, you get my drawing doesn't help because this is uh, uh, this helped me to um, make you know mistakes earlier on on this kind of the uh, during this drawing. I already process the. Uh, the idea. Like here I have a tonal drawing, uh, like tonal study uh, also. Uh, I was trying to do the, the white egret. Um, maybe we should try one if we have time. Yeah. Um, so I can show you maybe we already learned resistant. You can also do negative painting. So maybe we can do some uh, with white egret. It's very common in any, any place, I think. Great idea. Okay, thank you. <clears throat> so I, I just based on this drawing, I did a little drawing. Um, so you, you explore ideas, especially the um, the placement of uh, the design. Okay, so I I will use a semi size paper maybe. Or size paper even better with the assist, assist um, method. So we just use semi size. I just cut that. And I have the. You can use uh, uh, Allen as a resist a size. Actually, this is uh, called a size. But uh, uh, you can use white. You can also use uh, like a milk we talked about, right? Um, so anything with uh, with some uh, water resist which should work. So basically, I'll draw uh, the design first. I'll just use my finger to draw the just you know the proportion and how tall this is going to be. The beak, the beak, the the position of that. And now I'll, I'll paint with uh, just this brush, maybe I clean. Oh, you don't have to clean. You, it just create a, you know, some uh, some visit, visible uh, stroke. You can you can just use resist with the, as a water, with the, uh, uh, a little color. I think this will do. So it, it, it might, Still be just you know white with some with some uh, uh, 
some tone, like a, a green or, or lavender. Here. So I, I just use a dry dust brush to so make sure there's not uh, too much water. So, uh, this is transparent to white ink. It's prim primarily made of uh, alum, I think. So I, I use a little bit of color just to bring a little bit blue, blue tone to it. And that's it. So I'll, I'll paint these two birds according to my sketch. Uh, I'll just hold it in hand so you can see it. Right, can you can you see it? Let me put it on this corner. It's just here. Here. Focus. Just the I brief, brief idea. So this bird, I don't do the um, the neck, uh, the legs at all. It's all it's all hidden. So one big uh, back. Here, it's about one third, and then um, this one goes up. Maybe standing on on a tall uh, trunk, a tree, a tree trunk, or uh, 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 something, a rock or something. So it could be taller, and. Uh, so they overlap a little bit. It this should it, it could have a space and put some lag between the two. I think it's okay. And then the neck of uh, this this bird looks like ink. Yeah. So I'm going to do this first. To give it a small and the uh, neck in front of the back. Okay, this one uh, falls back a little bit, kind of lean to the to the upper bird, so almost uh, aligned uh, vertically with the, that. But you want to vary the angle, so this one goes down a little bit, or maybe leveled. This one goes up a little bit, so there's a, a variation in angle. Right. Uh, just do some some uh, hair. Okay. Like that. And the beak will be dark, I think. It should be no need. And then I, I dry this. I dry this with a hair dryer. I learned in, in, in other lesson that uh, if I iron it, it will turn yellow. So I just use a hair dryer. Let me mute myself uh, so you don't hear the noise. Okay, um, almost dry. Let me see. I need to paint something else before I. Uh, uh, so I, I, I can draw this uh, uh, details, the feature on the, on, on, in, the, in the head. So this is still time to make it dry before I wash the background. And I need to have this 
this dry also, I think. So I can do the just the uh, the eye, maybe the the beak, and you can paint a little color. So you you can leave a little highlight on top and then wash it with the uh, yellow, maybe just to uh, add some more detail. This is what the eye, and uh, this is a another bird going up a little. You can you can open the mouth and maybe make it make it like that, and then just draw the, the, the crown head feather. It's too too dry. <laughs> Okay, it's become a resist already. I feel that. <clears throat> okay, um Let's uh, first do something in the front with dark. So this could be, you could use a color if you like. Um, let me just use ink. So just make it simple. Some some uh, weeds in the front. This is. In the front, so they they're bigger. They could be bigger than the than the birds. And then um, it, it goes beyond the the frame, right? Okay. And uh, now I'm going to take a shot. I'm not sure if this will work. Uh, let me see. It's, uh, if it's still damp, you will not resist my dark ink. I try to do the dark in this area without a, um, I think you can still do negative painting to be safe, you know, just paint, just put in the dark, like, a, you know, negative, negatively. But if you occasionally touch the inside of the bird, it's not going to cover it. But you don't want to do the if you just paint uh, all over, you know, like that, you will still see some uh, ink, right? So I just paint, uh, you see, I can over it a little bit. You can over, you can create some soft edge, overlap a little bit, but basically it, it served the purpose already to resist, you see that? So I just paint all this. You can you can still paint on it if you want to create a, uh, some shadow. Oops. Turn off the phone. Okay, I'll just paint the background in, in ink, just to exaggerate. So we try to produce the backlit effect here. And so now I'm going, I'm going to use gray, dark gray, and then leave a little white highlight for this leaves in the front. Okay. And just you can just paint it like that. It doesn't matter, you know. It will it will skip the resist. Is that beautiful? You don't have to remove the remove the um, uh, mask. 
if you if you use masking fluid and um, watercolor paper, you you have to remove it. Right? It will be white, pure white. But this one it is can still paint on it. And the beauty of this is uh, to You want to create some high contrast in the focal area. So this is the focal area. And I skip some a little bits of uh, uh, leaving a, some pockets of white, which is uh, good to you know to let it breathe. So this area is opening like a, uh, the light. And then just do some uh, some texture to darken the light, basically. So I, I haven't reloaded, I just exhaust this. Okay. I, I'm still following this drawing I did. Be careful with this. I want to put something in between the mouth to open the beak. Okay, so that okay, and uh, you can create a a little bit of variation on this side it could be um, some uh, long leaves hanging down there and pointing to the birds. And after it dries, you can use a yellow or green color to color the background. But this is like a value study. Uh, I already got some some uh, blue in the in the resist the white. It could be pure white if we want to do a, a white bird. But I I just uh, still do it in a, in a, like a blue heaven. Henry, you yeah. are muted. You have been muted. Sorry, I was on the phone. I was not paying attention before. Okay. Sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. I, yeah, I didn't unmute. When I you are still muted. Can you unmute me? me? I, I, uh, host not allowing participants to unmute. Okay. Oh, you, you remain muted. Yeah, you. Uh, the host has to allow me to unmute. Um. Okay. I. Well. You are still muted, Henry. Okay. Let me type. Um, how do I do this? There's a chat. Where is the chat? Um, Today's Zoom is very strange, giving us all these unusual okay. situations. We're, we're, Henry is still muted. Um, I can't do. I Becky cannot. Alum is uh, some kind of chemical. Um, okay, let me type. It's kind of base, I think. People usually use it to to, uh, to put it on their grass or put it in their water. Henry, I, I still cannot hear you. Okay. Um, chat, 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 chat room. I just unmute. I just provided a function for everybody to be able to unmute themselves. Okay. No, I didn't. Oh, okay. Yeah. That was the reason. Yeah. Okay. Thank I you. Did. Sorry. 
Okay, now you can disable that, but uh, I, I remember yes. this. So uh, if I mute myself... You might have, I have backtracked to... quite a lot, quite a few minutes, I'm sorry. Probably yeah. a lot of people did not hear you okay, for a while. Let me, let me just repeat the, the talks. I, I, I did... Uh, um, by the way, the YouTube is not affected. So if you uh, go back to YouTube, you will get it. So basically, I I use ink only to um, to show the resist. You know the word. I can just paint it like that. Uh, so it will not. Uh, you see, this is blocking the. But you can still paint a uh, little with a little overlapping, even paint on top of this. Uh, uh, sized paper, so to speak. So the same ink will show uh, a little, you know, lighter tone uh, with this, the the un uh, the unmasked part. You know, will show more, right? So you can leave a little white uh, spot for uh, breathing. Just the you know, don't don't paint the. Uh, the background dead. If it's too too um, too dark, you can use uh, some uh, opaque color like a green, blue. This opaque opaque color to bring back. Don't use white. You can use uh, some uh, some blue, some green. Maybe you can you can lighten it. Okay. And you can you can color it when it's dry, or you can color it now. Just uh, give a little hint of uh, of colors, like uh, like this. So basically, I paint this side more in the shadow, this left side. And then maybe this side uh, more with yellow and warm colors. With a little, little yellow color. So. Um, Henry, I'm sorry to interrupt. Uh -huh. uh, it seems like uh, you were muted after you used the hair dryer. Yeah, I'm, I'm, so I'm whatever muted. you said uh, since the hair dryer uh, is not uh, heard during the class i understand everyone can go to the youtube video to, to, to watch recorded. because uh -huh. the youtube video recorded everything to, without this uh, glitch right. here right. so to save time uh, henry is not going to explain everything right now please everyone read uh, watch this segment yeah, uh, I'm, of I'm the YouTube, YouTube right. video. Right. Uh, there were quite a few questions about how you did the light, very, very light gray area of the painting and whether you flip the paper mm -hmm. over or not. Uh, so I think these can also be answered mm -hmm. from watching the YouTube. Yeah, I basically uh, used this white ink to um, block the transparent uh, the absorbency so then i wash with a um with a dark background it will skip it will block just like a masking uh, it's a masking fluid but you don't have to lift it that's the transparent white and you can use milk as we did with the cherry blossom lesson the same thing or soy milk you know, soy, soy milk or milk we do the same. The, the best part of this, you you can still paint on it. Okay, so um, let me do a little bit yellow. Then we will finish. We will we'll continue with the bonus part. Okay, you can paint a little yellow to the top of this. Pink, I think. Is that? Uh, I think in life the yellow might be on the bottom part of the beak. Doesn't matter if it's it's your painting or your you you do whatever. Okay. We have creative license being an artist. <laughs> right. We change the world. <laughs> yeah. Just to be creative. Yeah. Right. So I I just put a little yellow there. So you got blue, uh, yellow and then some red. Yeah, that's that's good. I got 
it's uh, very light because I I have some uh, uh, blue in the resist. You you can if you use pure resist, you you'll be white. But I it's good to have some some hint, uh, you know, some color, because there's no pure white in nature other than the pure uh, white with paper. You know? yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'll I'll wait to dry to sign and send you the complete picture. So uh, if we, we have no further questions or requests I'll, with the parent, I will move on to the cat. We have half an hour. Okay. Put this aside. This gray cat <laughs> looks like. Okay, we got. Uh, I have a, a book I used as reference uh, uh, for a long time. It's a very. Uh, I bought from Walmart or some place like that. It has uh, uh, all the breeds of the cat. Uh, I use as a reference. Many of you probably have um, have had cats in your life, uh, but all cat lovers like all cats, unlike dog. Owners, they only like specific kind of dark, and dark are different. They are so different. Cats are relatively um, the same, right? Uh, yes. So I would do a calico cat, also known as uh, the uh, total shell. Is that right? It's like not this. This kind. Of, I don't have that here, but it's, it's two colors. I don't have a calico cat. Yes. Oh, this one. Turtle, turtle, turtle's shell. White long hair, right? So this is the the coat I'm going to do. And I will show you the handout. The steps is in the handout. Okay, this one I did yesterday in another class based on the, this uh, diagram. The, this is my design. I, I did, like I said, uh, a lot of them on, on t shirt also. And people love it. They call it Smile, smile Cat. So maybe Lazy Cat. Uh, Yong Le did a nice uh, um, cat the other day, right in in a French uh, social network. I saw, so that inspired me to add this bonus uh, to this to this class. And I think what common um, between head, uh, between heron and the cat is they all like a fish, right? So there's a reason to do cat today. So I'm not going to sketch. The cat is relatively easy, just like a panda. So um, I need get some ink to start. So we'll do the ears, and then um, the other part. Let me just fold the paper a little bit to, to show you the thirds. Maybe something, oops, roughly. So you know the, the grid. So I, I'll do the head on this side, not not in the middle, on this uh, left side, right side. Okay, I'm gonna use a large brush. Um, it doesn't matter if the brush is split; it's good to have that kind of uh, fur, furry. So I I do the the dark uh, ear. Let's see if I can see this hair here. here. Okay. So um, the ear is facing the viewer. Let me just do uh, outline, but uh, you don't have to paint completely. So this one going outside in, this one goes uh, inside out. I'll just vary it a little bit sometimes to create some uh, calligraphy. So I don't have to. You know, changing my brush awkward like this, this. You know, I just do it this way and then this way. See, in, 
and out like that and then you, you can use the I made the brush a little flat see I used the chisel side um, to do the thin lines I use the flat side to do the furs this brush is really good for this actually you can shape it you can use your finger to to make it flat you can use Henry, the, there's a comment that the, the reference picture uh, might be a little bit uh, too, too far small. down can you move up close reference picture higher can, can it you, okay can you see this one but this is another yeah, yes, early yes, work yes 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 this, this is, is another yes. another yeah work. this is a reference picture yes uh, yeah this up oh, too big too too zooming okay okay yeah okay you perfect this one, yes right. uh -huh. so i'm going to copy this one right okay so um i'll do the um next i'm going to use uh, you can use the same brush but with more control you can use a small brush just draw the eyes carefully um to you don't want to blur at the beginning but you do want it to blur uh, later with color so i'll draw the eye between the nose which is on the um if you draw a triangle from the tip of the ears to the nose there's a triangle right the eye falls in between uh it's it's more uh in the middle maybe than the the panda there's no big muzzle like this is more like a person of uh, like a people's face somehow you know i just draw a line there it's you know like a smiling or sleeping cat okay just the um, you can use a big brush just draw with the chisel side and then i i push the brush to get a little rough uh pattern um Okay, on this picture, I see some yeah verticals, right? So just like a tiger, tiger cat, tabby cat, yellow tabby, or something like that. But I do leave some white, um, just like this cat here with uh, the forehead on the forehead and the, uh, in the middle middle of the, um, you know, the, like a nose with a long bridge, all the way to the top, right? Okay, so that's that's good. And then um, let me see. Um, it's good to use uh, several brush, I think. I'll use a small brush for details. Okay, the stiff brush, the basic stiff brush, or you can use the leaf wing brush. Um, so I, I, I clean the brush and then I use a little um, red color, whatever I got. This is, a, I think, a leftover of a rouge uh, or um, vermilion. But you can use a carmine or rouge, pinkish uh, red. So, okay. So I, I draw this little check mark, kind of triangle, uh, just like that. You know, you could just dot it, just a little dot without the outline. No, no need to outline. And then I just put the rest of this color inside the um ears like that with a lot of water so it become like a pink pinkish just one stroke so now i'm uh i will reload the brush with a uh, light ink and i still got some red in it you know it make it gray uh, warm gray that's okay so you you paint the lips and the, uh, the mouth okay like a typical cat has this uh uh the, the split the, the pleat line just like that. usually uh, you don't do the the bottom and you could do, just draw like that so and then you extend that they have a big you can you can do this little dots you know but uh, i usually don't do that <laughs> just too much too much detail um yeah just like three lines like a tiger kind of but people do always do that i know so i draw some long hair along the side maybe just three or two like that and i leave a lot of space on the on the lower um, ne neck 
just like a, imagine like a, a beard, white beard, uh, Santa Claus, something like that. And then I draw um, a uh, paw here, and here's the, you know, just use a very light, light ink to draw this uh, white. Like here, you, you see the white. Um, this paw could be a little bend it inward. I just draw it. to make it cute. I just bend it up, and then this one on the ground, like that, you can just put some cur curvy line for suggest the 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 what do you call this uh, tools. Um, and uh, you don't have to define everything, you know, just suggestively some, some line here. And we have to do fast because we want to create some, uh, some effect with the wet into wet. Okay. And uh, well, let's go back to this dark. I still have, I'll do some uh, the dark marks on, the, on this side. You see the there's a big, uh, just like a panda, you know, there, there's a big white shoulder and then dark mark in the, in, on the back. And you can leave some white for other colors, like the bronze. Uh, just make sure the, the body is like, uh, like this, an oval shape. You know? And uh, you can put some dark here, just to... Henry, could you move the painting a little bit to the right so we could see the tail part of okay. the cat, please? Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Now you can see the whole thing? Yes. Okay. Thank you. Okay, let me move up a little bit. Okay. The tail, you need, you need to um, just you, you can add a more uh, wet into wet. So right now, I, I just do a quick uh, like a mark for the for the shape, you know, for the not complete. Don't complete at, don't complete at this point. That's very important. Yeah, just a uh, suggestion of the maybe thirty percent. Okay, a mark here. You see, I, I use the brush like this to get all the, the uh, variations of uh, um, ink tones because I got dark in the, in the front and then the, the light. Okay, now I'm going to change color to uh, the yellow brown. So I, and you can get the brown from yellow and the, and the uh, vermilion or, or, or uh, orange, or you can just use the brown and the yellow. Okay, the brown color is uh, okay. The number is uh, four eighty. Uh, sorry, six eighty four. Six eighty four. But I always use several colors. I'll show you. Oops. Toothpick. Okay. <clears throat> now you use a lot of, lot of uh, water to, to dilute it to get a light. And you can add some yellow. I got, and then I have some uh, vermilion. I even some uh, some uh, blue will help to create some complexity. Brown. And I I test the color here. Let's see what it looks like. Looks great. Continue. And you can leave some white still in, in among the, the hair. You can see. Yeah, right, so the white spot even, even on this lower part and on the tail too. And they just wet into wet. Yeah. And on the the, the head you need to have a little stronger color. 
So we just use pure brown. With some white colors. And uh, you can you can vary the color with a little green on the shady part, maybe. Let's see this one. Okay. The, the white notes is you have to see. Yeah. And then you can still add uh, darks wet into wet. This is a bit brown, I mean reddish. That's okay, I like that. And some yellow to very, some very tiger yellow there. Some yellow, some brown. And I'll just leave this white. So there's a lot of white, a lot, lot of white. All right. And uh, hopefully it will create some subtle smearing effect. If not, you can make it up with a dry brush and the dark, you know, just to add some, some, uh, some sh kind of softness to, to the eye. It's still a mark. Sometimes you like the smear, sometimes you don't. So it's hard, hard to, uh, to control everything. Just let it uh, happen. You just just dry brush to add some dark. You can still do that. Let me see if you want. Just add a little more. You can add. Don't overwork. That's that's my uh, advice. Okay. So I uh, finally don't forget the whisker. We have a small brush. The leave a rain brush for that, right? So uh, you can try see this start to bleed, that's nice. Um, if you want to keep you, you can blot you can you can use a hair dryer to hair dryer to stop it from uh, further bleeding. But uh, it's good to to have lots of bleed, you know, like a fur, furry effect, it feels more uh, natural. Okay, and now I'll, I'll do this uh, um, whiskers with this uh, this uh, leaf rain brush. Many of you already got from the library. If you, you use a bigger brush or something, a detail brush, you do the same. Okay, you just have to hold the brush high with your wrist above the table and just free us your hand so you can paint longer. You, ha you, you have to do it in one stroke. Just, you can skip some line uh, lost and found, it's okay. And uh, here I also add a little uh, whisker on the, it's like brows, uh, eyebrow. And the, above the eye, okay, and on this side, so just the five, maybe don't do too much. And sometimes I use white uh, over the dark, it will create a more realistic effect. Uh, you can also use some white on the dark, you know, just use white paint to paint the whiskers, uh, the eyebrow with a little uh, opaque white. Well, well, help to bring some uh, depths, more depths. So I just do it straight from the tube, you know, just repeat a little bit. So it will show the line in front of uh, the, the fur. Just to uh, highlight. But you know, if you overwork, it will show some stiffness. It's not good. Just a little bit. White is a, a difficult color to to use. Okay, finally, um, I will use a little bit, a little bit of, um, pink color or reddish color, uh, maybe on this part. Just suggest the 
the Nietzsche part of inside the power. Mm -hmm. Maybe in between the. Okay. That's about it. Okay. Somebody commented that you made the face of the cat very beautiful. Thank you. It's a very calm, gentle, sweet uh, kitty. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for dreaming of good dreams. Yeah, dreaming cat. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, like, do you have the cat in, in your painting, Yona? Oh, okay. The reason I painted that cat was because uh, oh. Brooklyn Public Library also has a different watercolored uh, painting program uh, earlier this week by an instructor, Nancy Carey, mm -hmm. and she mm -hmm. happened to be teaching uh, participants uh, how to do a catch in a city setting. Oh. So several of our current participants in your mm -hmm. class would have been uh, able to uh, to benefit from Nancy's ca uh, class, oh. and they probably know which cat that we were doing. So quite a few of the people, I'm sure, has the watercolor painting of the cat. Okay. Good to, to know all the acquaintance. Uh, yes, everybody likes cats. Yeah, uh, yeah. Cat. Uh, I had cats in my early, my, my, uh, when I was China. Uh, um, we, you know, we live in a, a, a big a court kind of with multiple families, and uh, some people have the goldfish, and my cat uh, stole the goldfish, so my mother decided to throw that cat away like a uh, several oh. several stops of uh, uh, like a, a bus station but uh, a few days later the cat come back the cat <laughs> really <laughs> knows where the home is you know <laughs> <laughs> and your mom let the cat stay yeah 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 we, we kept the, the cat. <laughs> lucky cat <laughs> does your cat have a name i forgot that but it's black and uh, two color bicolor black and white so you can. So if we have time, we can do that. Um, let me see. Oh, we are. We in, have eight minutes. Eight minutes. If you want to do a very quick one, I will not interrupt you. <laughs> okay. okay. Let me do so. Just uh, uh, my my uh, memory, my my black and white cat. It's from memory. Let me just do. It. I got some stains on, like a, I used it as a blotting paper, but I can use the rest of it. So we just do the cat black and white. And you leave lots of uh, uh, room for imagination. You know? um, so we just, uh, I try to distinguish it from the tabby. So just uh, the eye. And uh, I remember it has the uh, black tail with uh, just a one dark spot on, on the on the short, on the uh, back, I think. Okay, let me just do, do a big tail. Maybe just like that. So it, it depends on you know your cat. Uh, okay, let's do. Make the nose more. You can use dark to squeeze out the one of the the eye. Maybe. Okay. I'll use a little red color to do the nose. And then just the light for the mouse. Yeah, dry and wet is very important. So just use left over.
You can get all sides of it to frame. So that's my uh, my cut. Not exactly <laughs> like my pet cut. Just a bicolor uh, black and white. We call it a sumi cat. Sumi cat. Okay, so you, uh, if you like, you can use white to highlight the, the nose from the back. Let me show you how to do that. Um, you can use uh, pure white. Okay, this is uh, the unsized paper. It's very absorbent. Just uh, pure white. And if you put it on the back, on the front, it will cover the ink. I just put it on the back, just to highlight the nose. I won't do anything other than the nose. Uh, I think that's it. Somebody would do the muzzle. Maybe that's too much, or even the the white. Part. It will. But you can do something like uh, you know the dark the eyebrow on on dark. That's that's okay. And then you just use dark. Use dark ink. To do on the on the um, on the white front. Okay. Oh, don't forget the yellow or the color uh, in the eye. I'll use a little yellow, but I don't really feel it uh, completely. I just, just like the, um, just a few dots, uh, you know, near near the people. You can use a, a little green color, maybe. I don't know. If the cat looks green. I right? just maybe a, a little bit green. Catch the. The, the uh, iris or the the dark. Okay. Can you see that? My my ink is not dark enough, but that's good. The dark is uh, focused uh, in the on the head. So my kitty <laughs> kitty can. You can you can um, if you want to turn it into a uh, tabby. Then you, you just add the stripes uh, when it's still wet. Um, let me just show you how to do that. So when the, the, the paper is still wet, use pure ink. OK, and then split brush. Just do some stripes. Uh, lost in the Would front. you move the paper up so the tail is visible, Henry? Please, thank you. Long hair, tabby. Oh, the video is frozen. Paula just told me I am fine. I have no problem seeing what the video. Uh, yeah, I think uh, I can. I see have it. no problem seeing a video at all. Paula, maybe you have some issues with your on your, your end. Yeah, your your connection is so. You can restart. Maybe you restart the computer. Uh, yeah. Other people say no problem. Also, mm -hmm. no problem. On, on my side, it's okay. Right, I'm okay also. Okay, so this is the the uh, I turned it into a tab tiger. <laughs> <laughs> tiger cat. Okay. Um, <laughs> So that, that's that's the demo today. And uh, let me see if you have any um, paintings you want to share. It's uh, three o'clock uh, right now. 
Mm -hmm. Henry, uh, what do you want to do next? Do you want to look at people's painting? Have people hold up their painting if they have any? Yeah, um, maybe you have to leave. Time, what or... time you, want, you want to end the class? Uh, you just oh, end. I can end the class uh, anytime you okay. feel comfortable. Okay, let me just do, let me, let's say 10, maybe up to 10. Okay, people. 10 minutes yeah, extra. 10, All yeah. right. Okay, let me. Uh, see Florence. Do you um, want everybody to raise their uh, painting in a gallery view okay, and, yeah, yeah, you, and then you, we pick randomly a few? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Would that be good? Yeah. I see. Yeah. You can okay, so everybody, the if you hold up sense. your um, painting in front of you, open up your video. I, we could all see and Henry, would you be able to comment uh, while? Okay. I, can you can you spotlight the? People? Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll spotlight. Let me see. Uh, Yolande Carlymore. Okay. Can you see? Yeah, I see a part of. Yolande, okay, you need the... to hold the paper far away from your screen. Okay, now it's good. Can I end up? Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, I like the bird um, gesture. Perfect relation, uh, story, kind of. Um, yeah, it's very nice. Um, very good, very good. Thank you, thank you. I see Catherine. Uh, Catherine is also being uh, yeah. spotlighted right now. Okay. Yeah, very nice, Catherine. Very good. Thank you. Uh -huh. Okay, anyone else raise your hands? I'm trying okay, to find okay. people who raise their hands or um, Shirley. Oh my goodness. I see Shirley Ho. Let me see. Sharon. 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 All right. Oh, very nice calico, Sharon. Okay. Oh, I, this is nice. I could, it could be a little curvy, uh, not up and just uh, maybe curve a little. You can highlight that with a little uh, darker one. Uh, just uh, make the curve a little flat. Would be good. Yeah. So, good, good the color. Very nice. Young lady. Yes. It's me here. I've been Is that Florence? Yes. I can find you. One moment. I recognize your voice. Yeah, we got Thank four you. people on the same screen. Can yes, you... I, I have already found three people. So let me find one by one. I'm sorry. Okay. Let's do this. Uh, Dor Darcy. Darcy. Hello. Darcy. Uh, yeah, your cat is uh, like a tiger cat. Very good. Um, I like the whiskey, it looks like right? a leopard to me. Leopard. Yeah. <laughs> I'm very Good afraid of your leopard, Dorothy. Don't let him out. <laughs> I'm not to live with a dog. <laughs> Very nice. Um, a, a, a good, good cat. cat. Yeah, very um, good expression. I like that. And uh, Elisa, your heron. Uh, I like the two heron and the single one. You got the, the Chinese name for blue heron. Perfect. Yeah, your handwriting is nice. Thank you. Yeah, very good composition with the, the cocktails. Very good. Rosemary. Okay, Rosemary's cat is a tabby cat. I like that. Uh, very, um, I like the linked uh, head. Very cute, very cute. Lovely. I like that long hair look feel. Yeah, perfect. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, Pat. Beth, Beth, I like the variation of the uh, parents. You got uh, the pink one. Uh, two, yeah, three her herons. See my class, uh, three herons. It's a classical uh, theme because it, it sounds like a um, second thought or, uh, you know, like a rethink. A sense, yeah, in Confucius saying, three things. <laughs> so very thoughtful, <laughs> yeah, very intelligent. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Stephanie, Stephanie's uh, parents facing each other, almost like a heart shape, a negative space. Uh, so they are matting. Beautiful. I like that. Right. Yeah. Um, very good uh, matting. 
um, couple beautiful Stephanie. <laughs> okay, Terry is uh, Terry. Um, you know, can you focus on Terry? Okay. Terry. Yeah. Okay, I, I see uh, that. Um, so else. got three okay. pieces. Um, oh, I like the nest nestling nestling uh, heron. Wow, beautiful! I, I love the feeding mother mm -hmm. and the nesting baby. Uh, wow, very creative, very good. Yeah, mm -hmm. and uh, that single one, perfect standing. Wow, very nice. I cannot find Florence. I don't know where Florence is. Okay. I know that you say. Oh no! I'm looking at. Uh, uh, there's some. I cannot see the small one, Marion, but I, I'll, I'll do I have three. My, I have Michelle. Michelle. Three people, Michelle, yeah. Sharon, and Angela. Michelle, okay, Michelle is uh, Karen. So you all did very good. I, I cannot tell, you know, for, from my original or your copy. <laughs> so I'm oh, look, looking at my own pictures. So Michelle is <laughs> it's excellent. You, you, you did very good on the two. Uh, although you you messed up a little bit on the second one, but uh, it's still the first one is excellent. Um, Thank three, you. Three uh, perfect. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Michelle. Sharon, uh, the the fat one could be a little skinner, but uh, it's good like family. The three, the two is the perfect side. The the body, yeah. The leg oh. is still. Uh, I mean, the leg is perfect. It's calligraphy. I see you have maybe practiced the calligraphy. <laughs> That's a cat. <laughs> yeah, the cat is a, uh, oh, the cat. The, that's, a, that's a fat cat, huh? <laughs> yeah, try try to, not to, to do it like a person. The arm is look like a person. It's just okay. a, yeah, yeah, try to uh, make that uh, Thank into you. a cat. Yeah. Very, very good. OK, let's do Angelina. Angela, uh, Angela, Angela. Uh, I like the the two yeah, like, Terrence. Perfect. Yeah, we got the the pattern I talked about. Yeah, very nice uh, with the uh, cat tail. Yeah, yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Thank you, Angela. Um, Marion, Blaze, Marion. Okay. Uh, I like the seashell and the. The water in the background. Oh, you got three. Very, very good triangular oh, uh, composition. Very creative. Marianne, good. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah. Susan Hammond, oh, my old student. Uh, hi, Susan. Nice to see you here. Um, the crossing leg might be a little confusing. Are they, uh, or I say those walking, right? So, yeah, try to. Make that clear, which is in the front and the back. Hmm. I think that's basically the photo is. It's kind of hard to do that, crossing the X. Mm -hmm. uh, you did a good, yeah. Good, very good. Yeah. Okay. Um, Laurie, you got all the pieces in your hand. Uh, okay, two, <laughs> two pieces, okay. The cat and the three hands. Um, the legs on the upper hand is a little uh, uh -huh. kind of too straight, maybe uh, too long. Anyway, um, yeah. but the other part is good. Yeah, just try to avoid the dark lines, outline, just to make it lighter to blend into the body. Okay. The only lines okay. are the legs and beak. So, uh -huh. so the other part is just a shape. Yeah, just soften the. The, the body part. Mm -hmm. the, your cat okay. is good. Your cat, I like okay. that. The cat is good. All right. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. So make okay. it makes very soft. Oh, okay. Joanne, Joanne uh, your 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 hair is very um, nice with tone, beautiful tones. Yeah. Again, I I think you you guys are doing so good and they're almost uh, uh, beat my <laughs> high note. Uh, yeah, very good. Thank you. Everything, everything perfect. Our Lauren, Florence, uh, Florence, very nice. Uh, Heron with a fish in the mouth. I see some something in the mouth. Huh? Very nice. Yeah, Thank like you. 
Very good uh, tone, tonality, and the line quality. Perfect. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Florence. Brenda Harmon. Yeah, I'm just trying to figure out which way this is. Oh, I think it's, I think yeah, it's going. This is the back. Uh, uh, this is the right. Either way, it's okay. I, it, his neck got a little fuzzy and started to bleed. Yeah, but still, it's it's good. I see this kind of fuzzy on the uh, wine bottle and the <laughs> hacky bottles in 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 uh, Japanese hack, uh, sake, uh -huh. right? So the, the, they have they could be very rough, very calligraphic. Yeah. It doesn't matter as long as they convey the spirit of a crane or a heron. It's good. I, I like the calligraphy there. It doesn't okay. bother me at all that. Uh, this one, this was that, fun. Uh, I like this one. Yeah, fun. yeah, yeah. I like that. The cat, uh, the ears could be a little vertical, uh, just stand, not too horizontal, like. A little big, smaller or? Uh, you know, straighter, like this. Like this. No. Straighter up or? Up, up, yeah, up. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I see. Uh, Floyd also have the flat. Okay. Yeah. Like a I I have a yeah. I have a calico cat downstairs and. Oh yes, I was gonna, observed, observed. I was gonna her. bring her up to show you, but she I went down and she was eating and and <laughs> she, uh, she has uh, nice. she's a polydactyl. She has seven. <laughs> Uh, a pose, uh, she has opposable thumbs and seven toes on each front wow. paw. That's a rare. So, oh. Yeah. Well, she she's great. She, when she was younger, she was great at catching flies <laughs> off the um, patio window. She oh, eat the, yeah. lots of appetizers. Okay. <laughs> Good. To she, to, thank you for sharing the. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. Um, long. Rhonda, Rhonda, okay. Yes, uh, hi. Hi. Um, yeah, I, 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 I like the uh, diagonal background uh, behind. It has some sticks. Yeah, that's a, very uh, much like the environment they, they live with uh, bare trees. Beautiful parents. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And uh, the cat is a little bit too linear, maybe put a lot of. Uh, <laughs> And blocks, blobs, blobs of color or something. Right. Yeah. I, okay. Yeah, I had trouble. I was trying to blend it, it's but large, it didn't work. Yeah, larger brush, um, just a larger brush. Yeah. Okay. Right. Thank you for sharing. Right. Thank you. Thank you, Lorna. Thank Floyd, you. Floyd, uh, Daisy, right? I, I think. Okay. You're, you're Daisy, right? Daisy. 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 Yeah, Daisy, I recognize your last name. Um, yeah, I see your cat has the flat ear. We talked about the, the yeah, it could be a yeah. little standing. Yeah, but I like the blur uh, effect on the fur. You try to uh, make the, the marks a little separate so they don't become um, what do you call turtle shell blended. Mm -hmm. uh, Calico cat has more spot, spots, mm -hmm. right? Turtle shell yeah. is more like brown mixed with uh, gray. It's That's like turtle shell, turtle shell, yeah. Good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, okay, Linda. Linda. Linda's three cat on one sheet. Just the uh, different breeds, huh? Okay. Yeah. 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 Um, which one is my favorite? They are all good. Yeah. I like the top one and the black white one. This one has a little like a pirate face on the on the right side. It's good. It's got it. <laughs> oh, the herons. Yeah. Very good. Um, very nice. The, the, the leg could be a little uh, bent forward, you know, with two sections. The joint and the, the leg is a uh, too straight a little bit. But you're, you're on the right um, place. Yeah. Okay. Very good. The, dark, the leg could be a little darker, too. Okay, ping. You're okay, not. Uh, you're, 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 you need to. She probably was tired holding up the okay. the painting. Rhonda or. I don't see other people holding okay. up painting. No, no, oh, oh, no, no, no people. Susan Mick is holding up uh, painting right now. Okay, I see Susan Mink. Okay, can you can you 
And then put on speaker. Okay. Now I see Ping is holding two hands. Oh, uh, the windy one. Yeah. It's pretty windy. <laughs> Very nice. Very good. I like the story. Uh, windy day in the, on the beach. Okay. Uh, yeah, Ping, uh, the two. Ping is a little. The bottom is too empty. I don't uh, know. You can put your what to add. if you want. <laughs> But that looks good already. I don't think it's too empty. I see some empty in the bottom, right? You can you can splatter the some is dots okay. or something like that. Yeah. You what? Can, you can put some splatter. That's all you need. Yeah. Splatter dots, just a splatter with a okay. like we did the cherry blossom. Thank you. Know, you. Splatters. Yeah. Okay, Susie and Monk, uh, your heron. Okay, is, what kind of color you suggest? Oh, color just uh, yeah, the, I like uh, both of them. Blue, yeah, it's just, so the, happy. Blue, just the same color, just like the uh, same color in the background. Yeah, blue color or brown? Blue, blue, blue. The blue. Sand same, same. or water? Keep it simple. Brown? Yeah, just, just brown color? No, just, oh, blue. sandy color would be brown. Uh, okay. Whatever, whatever. <laughs> it should work. You know, you, you can try <laughs> either way. Oh, okay. you're, you're the artist. You design. Okay, here's the cat. Oh, I'm still with the ping. Uh, maybe. Oh, okay. Sorry. Let me let me go back to ping. Um, sorry. The yeah, Susan Monk is your 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 hair is perfect. It's, it's exactly like the the sample painting I, I did. No problem. And Chris, your 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 uh, hair is also very good. Um. Yeah, the mulberry paper you used very very good paper actually. Uh, you can have more water in the uh, beginning, uh, so it will make it the back a little lighter, so the more contrast to the, with the legs. But this is good. The blue heron doesn't look dark sometimes like this. The the solo way is good. Yeah. So well done, Chris. Well done. A pin your cat is nice. I see your cat now. Um, with calico cat. Yeah. That tail uh -oh. is a little hard. You, you, you can maybe soften a little bit. That that dark spot could be a little hairy, a little bit. Yeah. The tail part. Where is the tail? I thought the tail is in the bottom, right? Yeah, the, uh. just the middle of the tail part. The dark. Just make that a little bit maybe uh, blurry on the outside. There's a there's a um, white area. I I think you can make that okay. into a white spot or something. But that looks already good, very good. No no problem. If you I'll try to. Yeah, it looks looks fine. Not a very serious uh, problem. I'll add a trim. Yeah yeah, just a blur a little bit edge, hard edge. Yeah. Okay, Marisa Ross. Okay. Um, yeah. The three heron looking good. The 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 leg could be you know straight. Yes. Straight, yeah, not like a stick, uh, like a tree stick. To, this is too small one. It's good. Um, yeah, to the the long one is a little crooked. Yeah, that's that's yeah. all. It, it looks great. It, the beak could be dark, pure ink. Okay. Yeah, just the uh, dark pure ink on the beak and the eye. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Good job. I see Stephanie raising hand, but I don't see Stephanie's screen, and I don't see other people raising their uh, artwork right now. Oh, there's a Kathleen um, raising a mm -hmm. pet. Okay, let me see. Oh, <laughs> this is this is very. Interesting, uh, it's like a big uh, ball shape uh, of a uh, cat. Um, it's a cookie. <laughs> it's a cookie cat. cat. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is nice. Uh, yeah, I like this one. Definitely. Your you neck is uh, very masterful. Yeah, 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 just the, the uh, hold it back a little bit. We, we see the neck. Wow, they have yeah, the camera. Yeah, the Karen has a nice neck. Very nice, very uh, good quality of uh, stroke. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah. 
Uh, Betty want to show your work, right? Hold up your work in front of the camera, please. Becky? Yes. Betty, are you there? Let, I'm trying to find Betty. Yes, I'm here. Oh, oh yes, Becky. I found yeah, you. Becky. Oh, wow. You have uh, amazing. Uh, I tried with, uh, to do with the just black ink oh. because I don't have Alum, I, I don't I don't know how it sits exactly. Someone told me that is something that used to do more to more crispy, but I don't know what it is in Mexico. Oh. So I tried it with just black ink, and uh, that's the result. Oh, and beautiful, uh, beautiful. another one from my picture. Oh, well, I, I have uh -huh. to. Right. Thanks for sharing. The picture. Okay. Yeah, that's nice. Um, that's good. Yeah. I would like to, to share with you something that uh, some years ago, I had a dream uh, where I, I was in a, in the top of a mountain. Um, and um, I was hiding from, uh, I was hiding uh, behind some rocks. And I see, uh, I, I saw uh, um, an special dancing of of, uh, of cranes, and it was a very a nice dream. But uh, some days later, I saw you, your video uh, from uh, 2011 New Year, and I saw that mm. it, almost exactly that my dream, and I tried to do oh. it. The dancing cranes. Yeah, I remember that. That's yeah. a not not good paint, but I, I, I it reminds me a lot that that dream that I had. Thanks it's, for sharing it, that. It's I'm very incredible pleased. that the synchrony yeah. that we had yeah. in the, in the, in yeah. your video and my dream, yeah. and it's it's very special for me. Thank you for sharing this. Uh, you you have a nice uh, study too. Betty, maybe is, you could put some red dots on top of your crane's head. Uh -huh. What yeah. do you think? Well, uh, sorry, what? Maybe you could put some opaque red paint as a like dot a crane, on like, top yeah. of the okay. crane. Ah, yes, yes, yes. I, I, yes, I, I tried to do it again, but I, I hope yeah, so better. This one is a, it. it's a memory of the dream. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yes, like yes. beautiful. Yeah. Well, thank you very much for thank everything. You. Thank you for sharing all your stories. I'm very pleased with this. Okay, Ron. Ro Romand, right? Romand, Romand, very nice. Uh, I like that uh, uh, gesture. That looking back gesture on the on the right and yeah, on your left. Okay, beautiful. Yeah, I like it. I like that. Uh, that Thank you. The gesture, beautiful. And then what, what about the other one again? Yeah. The other painting, just hold it up. Again. Oh, I see. This one facing each other. Okay. Yeah, I, that that one definitely better than this. But uh, it's good try. Good good uh, conversation. Try. Yeah, you can you can make the too big a little uh, difference. The 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 back one uh, just a, high, a little higher will be will work. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, just use the pure ink on the legs, as and the beak. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Good. Thank you. Thank you. That's all we we got, I guess. And then Yolo has to go, right? Three were well, twenty three minutes over time. Okay, <laughs> Thank fine. you so much. Okay, uh, yeah, I, I think we to, can touch uh, everybody. To, uh, so uh, I'll stop.